rumors. Today is the day. Big reveal today. I know you've all been on pins and needles wanting to know what the heck's going on. Yep. Stick around. In our last episode, we talked about how we were selling our 2001 Holiday Rambler diesel pusher that we just completed the RV renovation on. After we completed all this hard work that took over a year. And this renovation is beautiful, but we've come to a difficult decision and we're changing our plans. We are selling the RV. So when we decided to do a little RV shopping, everything we looked at, everything we were interested in was gone before we even got there. So I started looking. And he was like a man on a mission. Yep, and I found it. And so we bought it. And okay. here's a little bit of how that went. Right. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Eli, how you doing? Good to see ya. You too. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Linda. Hi, this is Nice to meet you. He told you we'd have the camera oh, running. Oh, yes, that's okay. right. All right. <laughs> Uh, let me get Brad. I'm going to do your walkthrough. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is my son Jacob, and this is my son Tiki. Hey, hey guys. Buddy. How you guys doing today? Good. You like hanging out with Dad? Mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> this is an Alpha Sia. Everything's included when you buy one of these. When you bought it new. There are a couple of relays in here, and the engine computer. Right okay. And that is your hydraulic pump. Okay, leveling jacks. And the access to this slide. <laughs> Manual operation up in here, if something happens where it doesn't work, but that's the back of the, this slide. Oh, okay. That's the, that's the, the electromagnetic brake on the end, and then the motor itself, and the transmission goes to the track and okay. that's And that's what, that's what they changed on the opposite side, right? Opposite side changed the whole thing. all your main oh okay for slides and battery disconnects and awning on. I can't believe how quiet the air is yeah so hey roamers we're here um, this is part of the big secret we actually bought another motorhome it's a new to us motorhome not brand new it's 2006 Alpha Sia and this is Eli, oh. and Eli's the gentleman who helped me out with this. Great guy. Um, I said, hey, I'd like to drive it, and Eli was so truthful with me. He said, you know, the tires on this thing, we're replacing them, and these ones are so old and cracked that I just don't feel safe letting you drive it. Um, so I have a lot of faith in him. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> really, uh, really forthcoming and truthful. So um, what's the name of the... Our name of our dealership is Tucson Park and Sale RVs, and we're located on Valencia and Cold in Tucson. We've been in business for 14 years now. Most of our business is consignments. However, we do purchase, uh, we do trade-ins, as well as sometimes we'll go to the auction. But most of them, and most of the time, we do consignments. So this is what you do. You do Rosie T-O-O, -O, Rosie 2. That's what right. I thought. There you go. That's yeah. what I thought. Great. Yeah, everything's looking really good. Oh, did you see this other one I got? No. Right over here. It is a 2002 Alpha Sia. But it's not just a 2002 Alpha Sia. It's the first Alpha Sia ever made. Oh, really? Oh, my it gosh. 36 foot? 38 foot. That's 38? 38 foot. Wow. We should take a little tour well, of it just to... It might be called to... a 36. I don't know what he's did. He's saying it's not even on there, but it, I measured it. It's 38 feet. 38 foot long, and it's... uh. It's a little maybe like 37 and a half, but anyway. Right. It's three slides. I mean, you should just at least look. I mean, it's yeah. the first one. Right. That's cool. I was like, oh, I got to get that. I, I at least got to get that. <laughs> and that's uh, my next alpha. But anyway, yeah, this. This is unbelievable. It looks like it? it's brand new. I can see why he just goes done. Yeah, we were so, and, and believe it or not, when they sit, they, they they die. Right. But as soon as we pulled it out, 
because it didn't look this good when he looked at it. I mean, it didn't yeah. look bad. It's still you could see it, but you couldn't see it. And as soon as you pull it out and you walk in and out of it, and you start working with things, they just come back to life. The longer we worked on it, the just the better she looked and the better she performed. Yeah. And, and of course, the awning now wants to stick, but we'll we'll get that figured out either way. Getting ready to start her up. Yeah. Rosie two. Rosie two. Ready? Yep. Here we go. What's that? Low air. Low air. What does that mean? In the tires? No. The air ride suspension. Oh. It's got to be at a certain. Uh, oh, so is it? Tell me what that. Tell me about that. Low air is all you said. Okay. On these uh, diesel pushers that have air ride suspension, when you park them for a period of time, the air goes out of them. So there's a compressor actually on the coach. So what happens is when you start it after sitting for a long period of time, it's gonna let you know that there's low air. So you gotta wait for the compressor to build up the air pressure for your air brakes and also for your air ride suspension. Gotcha. That means so much more than low air. Low air. <laughs> Okie doke, I'll see you on the road. feet. We definitely didn't go smaller like we tried to. The Holiday Rambler going forward will be referred to as Original Rosie and the new coach will be referred to as Rosie 2. T-O-O. -O. Right and the Original Rosie is a 2001 Holiday Rambler diesel pusher it's 36 foot long and we've completely remodeled the inside. So original Rosie is for sale and you can see the entire renovation in our YouTube playlist, Renovation Rambler. And there's a link down below in the description so that you can find it easily. So now we'll introduce you to Rosie 2 and show you why we changed our plan. We decided to go with a 2006 Alpha Sia, which is actually four feet bigger than original Rosie. We knew that if we found a good used diesel powered motorhome, by used I mean within the last 15 or 20 years, that we would really have to grab it up quick. We really feel that there was a, an era back there around the early 2000s where RVs were built a lot better. And especially with a diesel pusher, the engine's going to last us up to a half a million miles. Right. And the, one, the other thing was I wanted to be prior to 2008. That way we didn't have to deal with uh, DEF diesel exhaust uh, fluid. It's another additive you have to add to your, your diesel fuel. So being that we're prior to 2008, we don't have to deal with that at all. So what made us buy this Alpha when it wasn't what we were looking for? Um, massive amount of storage. That was a big one and yeah. power. Yep, power and uh, a lot of storage. So let's take a look at what we've got outside. Okay. First thing I want to show you is these huge bay doors here that we have. And with those bay doors, we got these pull-out trays. But if you can see down here, we actually have electrical. We have a volume control for the speaker that's up here. We get a light back there. Um, auxiliary power, so that's 12 volt socket. You could actually have an external freezer or refrigerator out here. And initially when the Alphas were built, they came with one. So they came with an external fridge freezer and a TV. Um, over the years, apparently that stuff's been taken out. So we don't have that, but you can do that if you want to. So these come out. And you got another slide. This one goes all the way through to the other side. So you can access it from this side or the other side. And it come, it slides basically all the way out here. It's just a massive amount of storage. So uh, that's one of the things that uh, was kind of a selling point. 
And then there's another huge bay door right here. And then in this bay, um, this whole area goes back about eight feet. Um, as you can see, we've already installed two multipluses. We got four Lion Energy batteries, so we got 420 amp hours of power. And then, um, you know, everything that goes with that. Um, there'll be a video that we're going to do in the future of the install of this, so you want to make sure and subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified so you won't miss that episode. But, um, yeah, we got all of this storage in here as well. And then the reason I'm showing that shutting this is I wanted to show you one unique thing about alphas. We actually have a compartment where you can take your trash out of here. You don't have to drag it through the motorhome. And you can access that right near where the sink area is in your motorhome. If they had area where they can actually use just the smallest amount of storage, they didn't they didn't waste it. So this is an area, just another area where they gave you some more storage. It actually has a thing here. Hold the door up if you putting stuff in and out or what have you. But really nice. They they didn't squander any of the extra space at all. They utilized all of it. And this compartment here is where we have our, our, our shore power cord. And then um, this is where you attach your water if you're uh, hooking up to city water. There's a filter that just sits in here and it filters the water before it, in, uh, before it goes inside the coach. Another cool thing, like I said, Alphas uh, came with a lot of stuff. So it had a built-in surge protector. It's already wired into the coach. So we don't even have to use the one that we had from uh, Rosie One. So it came with a surge protector just built into it. And as you saw earlier in the video, um, when we were talking about tires, these are the, the tires that they had put on. They gave us six brand new tires when we uh, did the purchase of the motorhome. And this is the wet bay. So this is where you hook up your, your sewer lines and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is a faucet, so if you have to wash your dog or anything of that nature, this is your flush here. And then uh, we also have, the thing that's really cool is you can have, <laughs> you can have your paper towels here. You can actually have soap here. What I use this is for my gloves. But it's kind of the extra things that Alpha kind of did to kind of make it a little different than every other motorhome. Another thing that's really cool is when you're down here and you're working for this stuff and you're down here for a period of time, they also gave you a, a handle just to help you help you get up. And that, that's uh, really nice for us older guys. This storage is the, the one that I told you is the slide through that goes all the way through so you can access it from this side. This is your propane, so it's just right there. And then there, you know, again, Alpha, they didn't, they didn't waste any space. So there's space up here above. They put a shelf in there so you can actually have storage up above where that is. So if you had, I don't know, hoses or something there, you can put them right in there. And just more storage. And that's, uh, that's all diamond. Uh, great back there this whole shelf is made out of steel so again just a lot a lot of storage and again not wasting any space at all they had area to, where they could put a little area where they can you can store stuff and they just said hey let's put a door there and make it so it's usable and this is the hot water heater it's a 10 gallon hot water heater So this is where all the bat this is where the batteries were all at initially. Um, they had uh, lead acid batteries in there. Took those all out, and um, like I said, we installed those lithium batteries. This is the generator. Generator is very quiet. Um, it's really nice. If you saw in the last episode, I was referring to Rosie 2 as a beluga whale. It does have a big bulbous front 
for aerodynamics. But now that it's grown on me a little bit, it's starting to look like a white cat on the front with the little whiskers and its eyes. It's so cute that way. So it's growing on me. Make sure and come back next week to see the details of the interior. Alpha spared nothing to make sure that their coaches feel like a home on the road. There's sales information in the description below about Original Rosie. And comment below if you have ideas for how to style this old RV or if you have an older RV that you love. Coming up, we're going to have some awesome winter and spring hiking that we did in central Arizona. And as always, we'll have detailed videos for each of the changes that we make on this Alpha and how they turn out. So make sure and hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes. And make sure and leave a comment so you can be part of the conversation. Until next time. See, see ya. ya.